everybody, Eric with MountModernLife.com. Today we're going to be replacing our old RV dome light with a new RV LED dome light. Now we found these on Amazon, I believe it was uh, around $12, which isn't too bad. So we got a couple of them, we figured we'd give them a go. Um, now some of you may know that over on the website we actually wrote a post uh, to highlight some of our custom made light fixtures that we put into the RV. I think overall we had about 13 light fixtures in our RV. We replaced six of them so far. Five of them were with custom light fixtures that Katie made using the different parts to put it together. And all of those that we replaced are LED, which helps save on energy and also it doesn't allow the light fixtures to get as hot as most of the others. Now for a lot of the dome lights, we actually left them in because they do fade into the ceiling and, they, and we don't use them that often uh, either. A lot of what we focus on is using the custom light fixtures like by our nightstands in the bedroom or in the hallway or out in the living room. But today we figured since we had these LED dome lights, we'd go ahead and give them a try. They look very similar to the old ones, but they won't waste as much energy and they won't get as hot. Now one thing to note is that when we were in the middle of our renovation, process we had actually removed a lot of these dome lights in order to clean up and things like that and what we found is that there were actually burn holes within the ceiling from these dome lights that were already in our RV so like I said it does get pretty hot and we try not to use them nearly as much focusing more on the LED light bulbs but we figured today we might as well since we've got these couple to replace them and then if we ever do use these we can use the LED ones and not have to worry about them getting too hot or wasting too much energy but real quick I'll show you a quick view of the dome light we're going to be replacing and then we'll get into switching them out with the new ones All right, so as you can see by that shot, that is our old dome light. So real quick, we're gonna replace it, but there's a couple things I wanna note uh, before we do. Number one is that we are going to be disconnecting the power supply from this light fixture. So I went ahead and turned off my 12 volt power coming into the RV and how it was coming through the RV. That way, ideally I don't get shocked. Um, number two is that if you're not replacing the entire system or the entire dome light, you should be able to just pop off the compartment and put in your new light bulb. Now, a lot of times uh, what you can do to replace just your light bulbs is if you look up there, it should have the light bulbs in your unit should have a number on them. If you Google or type into Amazon that number and then put LED behind it, a lot of times it'll bring up the LED bulb that matches this light fixture. So then you can order them. And a lot of times, another quick note, they do come in cool or warm colors. Now, if you get warm, that's going to uh, be more consistent with the color of the light fixtures that you already have. If you get the cool, it's going to be a much whiter, bluer light. Uh, so just something to note. But real quick, let's go ahead and change this out. So if you see there, I took off the two plastic covers. Uh, for us, it's an easy pinch and pull and they come right down and you can see my old light bulbs in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those light bulbs before I unscrew the system. And to remove them, you push in and twist and then they slide right out. Easy as pie. Now here I've got my trusty Ryobi drill and my Phillips head bit. We'll go ahead and take these screws out. So now we've had it, we have it unscrewed, the light bulbs are out, the covers are off, and you can see up here that uh, this has been uh, taped quite crazily up here. So we're gonna go ahead and undo that, and then uh, we'll try to make this a little bit cleaner when we put it back up there. Now, I'm not sure I'll show you a view from down below again, uh, you can tell that when we took this off, we actually took paint and painted over it. But if you look real close underneath the paint, you can see the, 
the leftovers of where it was burnt into the ceiling before. So hopefully by replacing this old dome light with these new LED light fixtures, we should be able to be uh, not as uh, hot up there and it run a lot smoother. All right, so as you can see, I removed all the tape. It wasn't nearly as bad as it actually looked up there. It looked like they had just taped it up uh, around the outsides to make sure that uh, the nuts didn't come disconnected up there. So anyway, the tape's removed, so then we'll go ahead and twist these nuts off on both of them. Now we have them both up there. Go ahead and untwist them. Boom. All right, so now the old light fixture is out. We have our new LED light fixture. Now, when I took it apart, the ground, which is the black, was connected to the orange, and the white, which was connected to the white, which is your power source. So we'll go ahead and twist these off here, and we'll plug it back up exactly how it was plugged up before. Had to pause there for a second because I needed more wire coming out from the new light fixture so I couldn't find my actual wire stripper so I'm going to use this pair of pliers uh, and the little clamps on the inside to strip it and make give myself a little bit more wire to work with. So now I have more wire to wrap up there and it should make it easier to attach the nut. Now I'm removing the plastic covers for the LED light fixture so that I can go ahead and reinstall the screws. Alright, so the new LED dome light is installed, but I'm going to have Katie go hit the 12 volt, turn it back on, and then we'll see if the light works. Alright, so Katie just turned the 12 volt power back on, so we're going to go ahead and test the light bulbs. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that uh, if you're doing this for yourself in the way that I normally do it is before I actually screw the light fixture back in or completely reinstall the light fixture, I normally check and make sure that it works beforehand. So for if whatever reason this doesn't work, that means I'm going to have to unscrew everything and make sure that it does work. But uh, let's give it a go and see what happens. All right, so everything turned out all right. I guess I had it connected right, so the light does turn on. Uh, I'm extremely happy with that light, even though I'm kind of seeing stars from looking up into it. Uh, but uh, like I said earlier, we got these uh, dome light fixtures. I think they were like 12 bucks on Amazon. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. We're probably going to go ahead and pick up the rest and put them throughout our RV just to, you know, save as much energy as possible and definitely get rid of uh, that heat that these old dome lights put off. But uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Also, uh, don't forget to check out the link below in the description for our post on our custom lighting that we did. And then also uh, going to write a post here real quick on how we changed out the dome light. So if you're looking for kind of step-by-step -step written guide, definitely check that out as well. Uh, again, I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon.